Hey everyone, welcome back. Michael here, Technique Hub MSP Fitness TV on our last of our three-part series on the clean. Um, we've got two other videos already done beautifully for you and you're gonna wanna check those out before you pick up from this video um, because those two, we set up the building blocks to what we're gonna do in video three here. The first video is gonna deal with that whole kind of setup process. The second video is gonna deal with kind of that first pull off the floor and all the mechanics around the start position. And in this one, we're gonna kind of bring to you in a sneak way um, the full clean by layering little puzzle pieces together so that by the end you don't even realize that actually you're doing the full lift and this is actually how we present this to our clients as well so let's get to it all right let's welcome Taylor back third part here we're gonna start with the puzzle pieces top down and I think take note that all these little pieces that were these little semi drills that we're gonna lead into that full clean these are all like killer programming nuggets that can be done and programmed individually based on the needs or the weakness that you may or may not observe within your own lifter so we're gonna start from a pocket hang power clean he's gonna clean your deadlift because any lift off the floor any pull off the floor is a great opportunity to just kind of fine-tune that technique of a good pull. The pocket clean is standing tall, shoulders, hips, heels, everything in a tall upright position with knees just driven slightly forward and out. He's gonna drive up and receive the bar. What this exercise helps to focus the lifter on is realizing that that finished position of that final pull that the hips elevate the bar and move vertically versus horizontally. So if you watch his bar path, the bar path pulls in and up towards the ceiling versus getting punched out and forward. So you can observe bar path in this movement and exercise as weight picks up and we can see whether the lifter is elevating or more like a kind of a kettlebell swing driving the hips more forward. All right, so we've established that pocket position. Let's move one step further now down towards the floor and take it into a hang power clean. He's still gonna think pocket first, then just drive the hips back and go to kind of that above the knee mid thigh position as the ready position for the hang power clean. As he drives it and finishes that hang power clean, you're gonna notice that his bar path will take him right back through that pocket position. That's the whole reason why we're kind of starting top down is all of these little positions that we're working through are positions that that bar path needs to establish as you then back work up off of the floor. Keep that in mind and that goes back to the whole programming piece that if I see a breakdown in my athlete, I'm gonna go back to some of these exercises to fine tune that. And then big puzzle pieces for the hang power are footwork, full foot, making sure to get over the bar with the chest, driving through the full foot as long as possible and being patient, right? It's still a leg movement, not a hips back, shoulders back off the floor. He's pushing into the floor and then finishing nice and tall. All right, we've got pocket, then we move into hang. Now we're gonna take it from the floor and marry what we established in that second video, that clean grip deadlift, to the hang power clean that we just talked about now. And we're gonna put a pause between that. So this is all about position. He's gonna come up to the floor, find the pause position, and then take a hang power clean from there. We're gonna do a couple of reps this way. The goal and the reason why we take the pause is to allow the lifter to think about position, think about footwork, think about balance, and we know how to do them independently. Can we layer them together? Now, we're gonna move on and we're gonna take that pause away, but the person needs to still conceive where that arrival point is so that you're still patient using legs as long as you can and then completing the lift. And again, if we're looking from the side, we're still seeing all of those puzzle pieces together. We're seeing the bar sweep off of the floor. We're seeing that hang start position. We're seeing that pocket arrival with flat feet and then an elevation of the hips into the receiving position and then he stands it up. Let's finish with one more great rep here. Excellent. Okay, we've now put kind of three pieces together. Pocket position, hang power clean position, marry that to the clean grip deadlift. With, at that point, essentially, you're just doing a power clean now. And then now we gotta think about how we receive the bar and then essentially squat it in, which gets us the full clean. So we talked about in that first video, the receiving position being a front squat. We go back to remember when I was talking about why I have Taylor kind of hold that receiving position for a second and then stand? That receiving position is the top of where he's received the bar to then go into a nice front squat. So he's gonna do essentially a power clean and pause 
double check his footwork that it's reasonable enough within a reasonable percentage of his front squat position, he's gonna squat and stand. So we're gonna marry that power clean to a front squat. The key here, especially when you're learning it, is to make sure your footwork is within a reasonable proximity to what your normal footwork would be for a front squat. If it isn't, you have to change it. Now, he has done this myriads of times, so he knows where his feet need to start and go. So that pause readjustment, if his feet are in a good place, he's just gonna meet the bar and squat. He's gonna start to kind of slow down those pauses and essentially just start to let, let the lift kind of flow. So the cool part here is ultimately at this point, you're doing a clean. You are, you've married a clean grip deadlift to a hang power clean to a front squat, or ultimately a power clean to a front squat, or really just a full clean. Comes off of the floor, we have all those puzzle pieces, those little kind of signposts that we're making note of as we come up. He's catching it, receiving the bar, that's where that pause comes into play, and then taking it through a full range front squat. One more rep. Wonderful looking lift. We've got a little more weight on the bar and I think it's valid to, to talk a little bit about this because now that we've established all the technique, you're gonna practice, you're gonna do some work, weight will eventually start to butt heads with that technique and I think it's valid to have Taylor demonstrate a couple of more lifts with some serious weight. We got about 110 kilos on here, it's about 240, 250 in pounds. And the big puzzle pieces here that we always wanna remember are the footwork, the patience off of the floor, the position. So as he takes a rep, He's thinking about a full foot, maintaining that tall chest, not losing, not losing the hips off of the floor, finding that hang position, finding that pocket position, elevating through, and then of course pulling himself under into that good front squat. And remember, he's meeting the bar. Watch him as he comes through the bar, meets it, and then rides it through a full range of motion in the front squat. It keeps him and the bar connected. You don't see the bar crashing on him. You see him filling the space, finding himself, inserting himself right around it, meeting it, riding it through that range of motion, keeping a nice tall chest. And take a look at his footwork, a nice full foot through, gets to that pocket position with flat feet, really elegant. All right, so there we are, three-part series on the clean. From the building blocks of the receiving position and the pulling positions off of the front to the setup into kind of that jigsaw puzzle of pocket to hang to clean grip deadlift married to, you can see how we kind of put it all together in pieces. And I think it's really important to remind yourself that those pieces are training within themselves, that within the larger perspective of where your strength and weakness is within this lift, those little components can be like standalone, like training to help you work through a weakness, focus on a certain position. So keep that all in mind and reference all this um, going forward within your training. So appreciate your time watching the, these three videos of ours. Make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Check us out at mspfitness.com and have a great day.